Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, this ain't no f***ing purse. I'm the big dills. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in a bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Brackado. It's a month full podcast. Money up, no funny up podcast. Whole lot of party. Funny with no money podcast. I mean, money with no funny podcast. Man, whatever you get. Yo, I was watching something like yesterday. And some dude literally said, get your money up, not your funny up. And that just made me die laughing. I was like, that's hilarious. Welcome to the party. Got on the head of his only daughter. Then I dip her head in the whole world. Man, listen, so what are we talking about today, Psycho God? He put so much emphasis on the word dunk, too. Dunk. Go ahead. I said, what we what we talking about, Segway God? Well, so we've been getting a bunch of those cryptic, more cryptic stuff for um. This one's a little bit older. We were gonna do. Am I am I like place right? Yeah, you good. And uh, we were gonna do this earlier, but um, this is when we could get to it. Chris D'Elia, the comedian who did the now infamous. Eminem impression with the just way too many napkins. Um, and who was in Lapigan? And who was on the uh, in the homicide video with Eminem and Logic? Posted up another picture and actually told the story you with Logic. Me. What did I say? With Eminem and Logic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know how they didn't. You know how M just low key wasn't in that video, but niggas let that rock though. I ain't gonna let that rock anytime uh-huh. I hear it. Oh, okay, well, that and, uh, yeah, he was in the homicide video, so post a picture with them together. What do you think that means? Well, it was in M studio, and so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that was just the meeting place that they chose to meet in the house. Um, it was in his basement studio, so he literally pulled up to his crib, um, I don't know, bruh. It's kind of like we talked about a thousand times, you know what I mean? Like, it's just continually be more and more stuff that just doesn't make sense that hopefully one day does make sense. It seems like he said M started rapping to him, like, in the middle of him talking. He said doing his impression to him. Mm, him. Yeah, and, and, like, that's just hilarious to me, but... It seems like, it seems like right now, bro, at this point, to be honest, I feel like M's working on a personal project. I feel like we've heard too many rumors, and I feel like that's probably the reason. Maybe he called him through to do a skit or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe Chris is doing all, like, the the narrating on the album. Um, what I think is, obviously, M's not going to call... Chris D'Elia to his well I'm pretty sure Chris D'Elia, the way he told the story was very I was in the area so he called me but Nero, I think I, who is just in where does M live I don't know probably somewhere in Detroit that's hilarious if M just lives in Detroit still that's just shout out why Pretty sure you 100% have I definitely would not live in Detroit if I was from Detroit, from by Detroit. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't. I'm sure he lives in a castle in Detroit that he really can't even come next to. I feel you, but it's still Detroit, bro. Like, I don't like It's still Detroit. I ain't gonna hold you. (laughs) But yeah, no, I think he does live in Detroit, but. Let's go. Um, he said it very matter-of-factly. I don't think that's what it was, though. I think they're protecting something. Even if it, it was the case that, yo, you just happen to be in the area, come through, I think they might have, they probably could have done something together um, in that time. Probably some sort of skit. For sure. I mean, cause what, Chris D'Elia don't rap, so. Right, right. That's Unless why, he does yeah. have some Chris D'Elia rapping on his album, which would be hilarious, but. 
definitely be mad hilarious if that's where he kickstarted his career. <coughs> yeah, I mean, do you watch the Chris Elias podcast? Did you see the story when he was telling it? Saw a little section of it. Yeah, well, basically, well, he was like, uh, does he ever? I think it was his friend or his brother or somebody was like Eminem's his idol, and that's kind of why he did it type stuff. Um, and stuff. Hold on. My bad. I was over here thinking, why are these on anyway? So, uh, yeah, he said that's why he did it, but he didn't sound like they did anything, honestly. That's yeah, how I mean, but close. if, but, but then again, it's like, I don't know, bro, because <clears throat> how many times, to- like, by the way, I think I'm about to buy that Star Wars Jedi followed order today. Is that supposed to be fire? Oh my. God, every I didn't even want to believe it was as much crank as everybody's saying, but like Chris Stuckman, who is somebody that like especially with video games and movies I listen to, he was just describing it. I was like, oh, nigga, this is the exact Star Wars game I wanted. But go ahead. Well, it's funny though because I honestly every Star Wars game that came out on the PS4, most people that I know really liked that Battlefront. People like nah, Battlefront. Don't do that. Don't even say that on the internet, bro. Battlefront was hey. I didn't wa- I didn't play it. I'm just saying, yeah, people. Nah, I know this. Battlefront saying. was, ep- both of those battlefronts was epically hated, like justifiable too. Epically hated. I, 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 there wasn't even a story mode. Yeah, it was more for the online. It, most of the people that I know played it like multiplayer play though. So yeah, that's probably but it was trash for them. But regardless. Back to what we were talking about. Yeah, so I don't know, bro. I feel like Chris may be not going to say if he was doing something with him or not. He may or may not be. Um, I think Eminem obviously finds um, him hilarious, and he obviously likes him to an extent to be around him and invite him to his house. I'll Um, never forget how mad the stands were getting when um, that initially happened. And then how much now, like, they love Chris D'Elia is the most hilarious. Definitely <laughs> hilarious flip-flop. I remember when I reacted to the, the reaction initially, and I was like, yo, y'all need to get a sense of humor. It was people, you, you literally go read the comment section of that. That's how I know the stands were attacking him. They were attacking me for thinking it was funny. They were definitely killing everybody for that. I definitely remember that shit for sure. Way too many napkins. I don't know, bro. I feel like I feel like at this point, my biggest assumption, speculation, is that M's is probably working on a solo project. What are your odds now, percentage wise? Do you think he's dropping twenty nineteen? I think there's a chance he drops December. Percentage wise, I don't know. Maybe if you had to bet, if you had to. Maybe fifty one percent says he is. Hey, that's not even saying anything. Fifty one. Um fifty one percent. What a yeah, garbage. I'm man. saying uh it, it 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 I don't know, bruh. A project or just anything? I think he's gonna drop something before the end of the year, but I don't know if it'll be the full project. I think he may announce it though. I guess. At this point, oh, okay, let's talk about this, too, because I don't want to make a separate video about it. Did you... I can't believe you have to do this. <laughs> Wait, did you see that the dollar bill that M posted? People were really asking me to do a video about it. So, let's just talk Here's about it. the video. It. Okay, so M posted a video, I mean, a picture of a dollar bill, and he put the B and an R at the end spelling. I don't even know if I can say it, so I'm going to not say it. Just think about it. So it spells the inappropriate word that I don't know if I'm going to say. And um, the funniest part about it is people were hitting me with the conspiracy theories. And it wasn't even just one person, bro. You know that? Okay, so they're like, well, the B is a third. It looks like a 13. Oh, yeah, you said that. And the R, bro, you know there's multiple people who hit me with that after that? Multiple. And I'm going to just say it like this. So they're like, it means that, because 1312, 
What does that even mean again? That's they said. Oh, it's gonna. That means December thirteenth. Boy, if y'all, you don't get your <laughs> y'all gotta do, y'all gotta do better, man. Y'all gotta yeah, do better. Bro. Just do just just do better, man. Definitely do better, reach man. Reacher. Like, golly, now we about to pull a muscle, huh? Huh? I'm gonna pull a muscle. He's definitely pulling a muscle, reaching on that shit. That's I'm crazy. like, golly, bro. Like, shout out to Harlem. We have bro. heard so many different rumors and. And this it's not even that. It's just like, come on, guys. Like, the band can't put clearly what is supposed to be like an immature joke without there being like a hypotenuse breakdown of listen. Well, the B is really created by dot dot dot, and it looks like the Greek letter. Nigga, shut up! Like, come on, guys. Come on, man. I genuinely, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna actually answer this and say. I think the odds of him dropping something 2020, I mean 2019, I'm saying 65%, no, 60% he's not, and every day that is going up 2%. <laughs> My nigga had that answer cocked back. Every day it's going up 2%. Because by the time we get in the middle of December, if he doesn't drop, announced it. Or, or do, but then again, he do be one of them random drop guys. So if he just drops it January first, what you gonna do? Just December 29th. He bought it. Oh no, bro. I wonder if that would that would really be some doof stuff because I think that messes up like charts and stuff Wouldn't and like awards and stuff like that because it's like. And that's why when he does drop in December, because he usually does, that's why that stuff be like, wait, what year did he drop? That's why, like, Revival be so confusing to me what year it actually dropped. And, I mean, uh, Kamikaze. Because he dropped it right at the end of the year. Yeah, and it's just so like, wait, so do you count that as that year? Or do you count that as If people didn't start talking about it until next year, which was literally three days later or a week later, yeah, Not the no, it goes for the next year. That's when they put you on the awards is for the next year and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do I think that that means that Chris D'Elia is going to or has worked with something with um, Yes, I think so. I think that they're doing something skit or could have just showed up just to say what's up. But, you know, at this point, I don't even know no more. Can I... I definitely don't either because it just be... It'd be tiring figuring out. You did. Let us know. What y'all think? You think they doing something together? You think they was just together for fun? Let us know, bro. It's the monthly podcast. We out. A whole lot of... I'm just a